Hey, what is going on guys? This is Tharshay and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're back with another update video on our Season 15 Rebuilding Glory campaign in Lord of the Rings Rise to War. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please do drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn those post notifications. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So it has been a couple of days and yeah it's been about five ish days i would say so we're about five six days into the season now and a lot of things have happened a lot of developments you know have happened so yeah we're gonna hop over to the season map show you guys what it's looking like now it's obviously looking very very different from what it did a couple days ago and yeah there is also some wars brewing which is pretty interesting but yeah if we zoom out and we have a look at the map we can see that a lot of factions have started to expand so we'll start with uh, us over here obviously so uh linden we've captured a couple keeps we've taken uh anumnos we've taken breland and we've also taken the shire uh so yeah we have three keeps there, and then we're obviously going to be grabbing the rest of them as well our neighbors on or are well they've actually captured everything i think in their starting region except for Torlau, but yeah, they've grabbed everything else. They've got Western Torlau, they've got Enidwaith. Uh, they obviously uh, start with Isengard, but they've got in Dunland, Menheriath, Erin Vaughan, and they push through to uh, through this pass over to the second section. So they've gone and captured Cardinal as well. And it seems that was in preparation to invade us because if we go over here and we have a look, so now that they captured the land, they can obviously uh, relocate and yeah ish a lot of their players are relocating here so as we can see there's a lot of relocations there's one there another one there another one over here one two three yeah there's a bunch of people relocating here they have a fortress up over here as well uh the other fellowship yeah uh t-i-n-g trusting god they have a fortress up and uh what is this oh i think that's uh that's one of those uh what's it like forward operating posts that you can build now so yeah it looks like arno is preparing to invade us not sure why because we haven't you know we haven't done anything to them yet and uh i mean we are, I'm, i am in their diplomacy server but haven't you know they haven't really you know reached out to us to speak about anything so yeah it's i just assume they just want to go to war early with us and kill us because i assume they view us as their biggest threat because we're like on their borders and you know Gondor is too far away because they have Roland between them and the other two strong factions which are Lothlorien and Rune are basically you know on the other side of the map so I'm pretty sure we are the you know they view us as the only threat uh over here in the west and they want to you know get rid of us early on so that could be it we're gonna have to see uh who knows maybe in the next update video all this blue maybe light blue or maybe you'll see this being dark blue you know who knows we're gonna have to see in terms of angmar so angmar have expanded they grabbed some stuff they got in forest shell they got an emmanuel so they are expanding uh lot Lorien, so lot Lorien, on the other hand they and rune are having an interesting time as well so loth obviously started with you know the capital of the wooden realm they went and they captured uh langrel and they've oh wait what is this actually what is this keep called uh, Gun oh, that's going to bed. <laughs> they captured Gundabad, they captured Carrick, and they've pushed down to East Bight. And uh, Erebor have gotten Khan and Vale, which that's the only thing they've gotten. But East Bight is, you know, right next to Dorwinian, which is Rune. So it looks like there may be a Loth X Rune war, maybe with some Erebor support on the Lothlorien side, since, you know, Erebor, their first keep was. I mean, I mean, they could obviously have gone for Iron Hills, you know, but they went for Khan and Vale. It is a weaker keep, but it also is on the border with Rune, with a pass right there. So they could be using that, you know, to push into Greater Rune. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Rune, they've captured all their starting lands. They've gotten Greater Rune. They obviously have the capital, the Sea of Rune. They have Oasis. They have Hills. They have Ashen Plains. They have Dominion. And now over here, they have a border with Lothlorien so yeah uh right now they do seem to okay they're on this side uh where is Loth do Loth have like any forts or anything set up for fighting or are they just at the keep only oh no they don't even have that many people uh they've got a couple forts and I see some are relocating in so yeah it looks like Lothlorien and Rune are squaring up for a big fight over there down here in the south we have Mordor so 
Moro, they're not the most full team, but hey, they're, they're capping lands. They're doing stuff, so they have the cap of Baradur there. They've captured uh, Nurn Keep over here. They captured Epil Duath, and they captured Southern Khand. Um, I assume they have a nap with Gondor, you know, and they're not going to fight Gondor because Gondor is definitely stronger than them, so... I don't think they would want to fight Gondor. They probably just want to keep their capital for the season, considering their faction isn't that fold. But yeah, Gondor, they've got Nia Harad, they've got Harindor, they've got Ithilien, and they've captured all the way up to Doran Arnold, but they obviously they haven't captured Belfalus yet, and they haven't pushed into Rohan's country, like Rohan's lands over there. They haven't bothered with doing that, nor have they bothered pushing up north into the Dead Marshes or Eastern Nets. So yeah, I assume right now, Gondor and Mordor probably have a nap. Lot then Rune at war, Erebor. I assume because they're a good faction, they're gonna side with Loth over Rune. So I assume Erebor is either allied with Loth or have a nap with Loth or just have a common enemy. And yeah, that's gonna be interesting to see how it happens. Uh, obviously, Linden, we have a nap only with Angmar. And just, you know, because I, I don't wanna go and have an early fight with them or something. and. They didn't want to fight us, so we just said, yo, let's have a nap. We can both develop in peace and leave it at that. Uh, Arno, I mean, I wanted the same thing. I wanted a nap with them if possible, so we could also both develop in peace. But um, yeah, no, Arno seemed to uh, want to uh, uh, kill us. So we're going to have to see how that turns out both for them and for us. Uh, it's going to be an interesting fight, that's for sure. Um, I need to obviously speed up my uh, my progression just a little bit to be prepared for that fight uh, as it comes. Anyway, let's go over to the leaderboards and have a look at that next. So if we have a look at Fellowship Production, we can see at number one is Yui from Arnor with 1.5 million power. At number two is the main Gondorian Fellowship Solo and they're at 1.1 million power. At three is Ben from Notlorian with a million power. Four is SPQR, so the Roman-based uh, faction in Rune, and they're at one million power. Next up is my fellowship ring, Fulia. We're from Linden. We have a million power, so we are fifth though. So ish, I mean, Arno, you you should go deal with the Gondor or, or Loth or something first. You know why are you dealing, why are you coming and killing us? We're just peaceful elves. Anyway, at number six, we have the Erebor Fellowship TSOD. They are at 620k power. So that is a pretty, pretty big gap in uh, in power over there. Seven is a second Runic Fellowship. So that's 600k power. And assuming they have some decent leadership, even if they're a smaller team, let me see actually. Oh no, they have a full team. Okay, so I assume just their players are not as active, not grinding as much, but yeah. Uh, they have so they have 200 players in the top 10, so that's pretty solid for Rune. Eight, we have the Angmar Fellowship Woa, which is what is it? Whispers of All Horrors, led by Dragonspawn, 600,000 power over there. Number nine is the second Arnor Fellowship Ting with 600,000 power, and 10 is the second Lothlorien Fellowship Wolf with 550,000 power. 11 is the first Mordor Fellowship, so that's the only fellowship Mordor has, 530k power called Dark. And then 12 is Orida, which is the second Lindum Fellowship at 433k, even though they do have, I think, a full... No, nah, they have a full 100 players, but yeah, we need to obviously get them uh, to start grinding and actually pushing up, cause, so they could at least be like six, 700,000 power. Over at development level, so if we look at development level, we can see at number one is Arnor with 34 levels of development. At number two is Rune with 32 levels of development. At number three is us, Linden, at 30 levels of development. So when we started, we actually hadn't done much development. We were like down in the bottom with like five. And then I put an announcement out to say, yo, guys, get developing our keeps. And yeah, we've pushed up all the way to number three there. So that's good to see. At number four, we have Gondor uh, with 28 levels of development. At number five, we have Lothlorien at 23. Uh, Angmar is in sixth place with 14 levels. And Mordor, with their small team, is at seventh with 13 levels. So not bad. They're above, I mean, they're above Erebor, which I think, hmm. I mean, Erebor, it does have a bigger team than them. But yeah, Erebor at 10 and Rohan are at 10. We look at contribution ranking so obviously i want to be in the top 50 if i can be in the top 10 though that would be amazing but right now i am number 54 with 506 contribution um the top player is niena and she's at 850 contribution um nima who's this guy ah he's an order player nice nice 
There are some active Orida players. That is good to see. Arkin, Acid Key, uh, Pexy as well. Oh no, he's in our team. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, I am number 54. Uh, I do want to push up further if I can. Try get to the top 25 first and then, you know, aim for the top 10. See if we can get over there. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, Next video is going to be very spicy, I am sure, because, yeah, I would, you know, everybody, everybody is getting ready for fighting. This map is probably going to have a bunch of weapons by the next video. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please do drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn on those post notifications. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.